Hi, welcome to the App Codes channel on YouTube. Today we're going to continue our tutorial on loading a UI web view depending on what row a user selects in a UI table view. So the last time we created a very simple little app just to show us how to load a local HTML into a UI web view. And you can get that app here at www.theappcodeblog.com slash code slash webview tutorial one dot zip and that will get you the very simple app that we created which I'm going to run right here you can see what we have really all we did was create a tab bar application and in the first tab we loaded a UI web view that produced or loaded some local HTML into it today we're going to add a table to the second tab and work with it. So let's go ahead and get started doing that. First thing I'm going to do is open our second view nib file, get rid of those labels, and we're going to add a table view to it. Just like that. Go ahead and save it. Now let's go to our view controller, first our header file, and we're going to add a property here for an IVAR for my table view. Let's copy that, go to our implementation file, synthesize it, and now I have cop I have uh, taken care of of all the methods that our table view will use and I'm just going to copy and paste those in here like so and I'll show you that it's very simple we're just right now going to have one section to our table view and that section is going to have five rows and each row is going to print out the same little string that says red web view okay now we have to go back to our nib file and connect all that up. So let's connect up the table view and then let's select it, connect our data source and our delegate, save it, and now let's go back and run it and see that our table view is working. Yep, there it is. Okay, that's all it does right now. You can't go anywhere else with it. We're going to work on that now. Okay, now the first thing we need to do in order to work more with our table view in that second tab is we need to add a navigation controller to it. So here is how we're going to do that. We want to open up our main window nib file, go to the tab bar controller. We're actually going to delete this second tab, and then we're going to find navigation controller here in our library. I'm going to drag that down onto the tab bar. Let's go ahead and rename that to be second to replace what was there. Now let's change the nib to have it use whoops, second view. Select the view controller on it the identity inspector and it is going to use a second view controller. Okay, so that should have added a navigation controller to our second tab and it should still be showing the table which it does. There's our navigation controller bar and there's our table view. Okay, now moving along we want to create a new view and view controller that is going to hold our UI web view. So let's go ahead and create that here. It's going to be a UI view controller subclass. And I'm just going to name it uh, my web view. Just like that. Um, let's go to our header file. And I'm just going to copy and paste a property in here. Trying to speed things up so you guys don't have to watch too much stuff that's pretty basic. I can copy that. Come over here and synthesize it. 
And now what we want to do is we want to load um, this local HTML file into our web view that we just threw on here. We're going to do that in the view did load method and we're going to steal the code to do that from our first view controller which we had put together in last time's tutorial. So I can just copy that and put it in here. So I can change my name. That takes care of that. Okay, now the last thing we have to do here is go back to our second view controller and load this view when a user selects on a table view. So what we've done is we've created a new view here um, that is going to hold a UI web view. I guess I need to throw that on there too, don't I? So this new view holds a UI web view and we'll link that up to the IB outlet we created. Get that UI web view. Oh, I drew the wrong thing on there. Map view. My mistake. Sorry about that. Okay, now let's go back and connect it up. There we go. And this view will hold a UI web view that will then load our local HTML. And we're taking care of all that in the view controller here. That's where I copied and pasted this code from our first view controller. So now we just want to load that view when the user selects the row in the table view. So let's go back here to our did select row at index path. And again, I have cheated here and created the code that I'm just going to copy and paste. So you don't have to watch me type it in. Just like that. Now you can see we're getting all kinds of errors. Whoops, sorry about that because we need to go to our header file and create the property for it. Copy it, and then we'll have to synthesize it up here. Save it up um, in our header file. I forgot to import it. This is my web view. Okay, now let's go back here and see, get rid of all of our nasty errors. Okay, I think that might be it. Let's, um, let's run it, see what happens. Hopefully I didn't forget anything, because I was going pretty fast there. Okay, go to our second tab, we still have our navigation controller bar, we have our table view, we select a row, and it loads our other view, which loads our local HTML file. And of course we can go back and forth with our navigation bar. Okay, that's pretty good. I think I'm going to stop there for this time. Um, I know this was all just kind of so far preliminary work to get to what we really want to do, which is the next time we will create um, something that will populate our table view here and then it'll pass a variable to our view or my web view that will determine what HTML to load. But we had to do all this preliminary work just to get there and so I figured I would go ahead and show us how to do that in case it was helpful to anyone. Maybe it can be review for some people. And again, I'm doing this in a couple different tutorials to break it up so that it's not too long. So that's it for today. I hope you found this somewhat helpful. Um, as always, please come visit me at theappcodeblog.com. And until next time, have a great day.